success gravitates towards success. That's what you're going to bring to you. That's that energy that you're going to bring to you. That's that's what y'all going to get. Mm-hmm. Only if y'all, only if y'all decide that y'all want to be successful for yourself, not for nobody else. You can do it for someone else because I know I do what I do for my kids. Mm -hmm. But overall, um, I started my website business for myself because I wanted that feeling of accomplishment of being able to eventually, like you said, Eventually, I'm trying to get to a point where I'm not working for nobody. Yep. I'm boss. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have people working for me. That, 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 that's that's what it is. That's the goal. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hire some little intern. Okay. You know, like... Can't nobody what? tell me nothing. That's the goal. For <laughs> real. Like, I'm straight walking into the building. Just <laughs> I'm just acting a fool because I can't. Who's going to tell me I can't? Right. You know? And so, yeah, no, man, it's it's just crazy. I'm like, man, people are so talented. It's nuts. I'd be like, man, why aren't you doing this? I'll tell one of my friends the other day, man, why aren't you going for real estate? Why? Because hmm? of the money, because of this, that, the other. There ain't no excuse. No. Nope. There's it's resources bad. out there that will actually pay for you to do this stuff. If it's you go funny. look for it. Yeah, like if you go look for it. Like seriously, if you go look for those resources, they out there. You can it's find them. Whatever you want. It's just a matter of are you willing to see it? Just period. Yeah. It's just period. Yeah, if you really want it, you're gonna go get it. You gonna find if it. You... And it's not even gonna be that hard to find. That's what's so crazy. You just gotta no. literally try. It's gonna pop out like damn, it was yep. that easy. Yeah, actually it was. Right. <laughs> if, it's meant for you, if it's meant for you, it's gonna be that easy. I'm telling you. Yep. It's it. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, every if you look at your life, everything that you need to succeed and what you meant for was already there. Yep, it was already in you the whole time. It's just a matter of were you willing to see it? Cause like oh, the, yeah. the same me that was slanging credit cards is the same me that got to hop in people DMs like, hey, I do this podcast called Thinker versus Speaker. You can find it at thinkerversusspeaker dot com. You know, I got my schedule over there if you want to set up a meeting with me. Um. Just get on thinkerversus.com. You know what I'm saying? And we can set up a time. We can talk about it if you want to collaborate and come on the show. That, that easy. That easy. But people make it more complicated than what it actually needs to be because they're too busy making excuses on why they can't do it. You work, like a lot of people work harder on trying to make them an excuse of why they can't do something than yeah. actually going out and doing it. It's like, wow. <laughs> you put all this energy toward, you know, trying to explain. First of all, you've grown and you don't have to explain nothing to nobody. But the fact that you think that you have to take the time out and explain why you are not succeeding to me mm. just shows just just how out of the loop that you are and why you can't sit at my table. Yo. I can't do this because of this. Like, no, no, no. You can. You don't want to. There's there's between can and not wanting to do something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah no, no. Yeah, it, it's not that you can't do it. You just don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like, man, see, this is why I like having friends that are blunt. Because, you know what I'm saying? One, you need it. Like, if you got yeah. friends that ain't honest with you, get new friends. Because it's, it's the funniest thing. Because sometimes it is that black and white. And you need somebody mm-hmm. to be able to just say it. Like, I remember it was one time before. Now, I'm not the type of person where people can make me eat my words. So then when I when I find somebody that makes me eat my words, I appreciate it. Because I remember I was on the phone with somebody and I was just like, man, I can't work out. I got tom- I don't have a time like that. You know, I'll be taking care of Ruby. I'll be doing da 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 And then she was like, what you doing right now? And I was sitting on my couch in my living room. We was on FaceTime. I couldn't lie. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I could lie. Like, it's like, <laughs> I took my wait a minute. <laughs> like, and, and it ain't nothing that you can say because it's, re- it's really that simple. Yep. It's really that simple. It's just a choice. It's a choice. Yep. You might not really? like it. You might have to bite what? your tongue and swallow it for a second. It's uncomfortable, but it's mm-hmm. true. Yep. 
I tell my boys all the time. I'm like, man, I'm telling y'all, if y'all ever see me slipping, y'all make sure y'all tell me. No, I, you ain't a real friend if you let me out here look like a fool. You ain't my real friend. If you if you see me de- like declining, if I'm like up, if I'm up high and you seeing me declining and you don't say nothing, like I ain't want to say nothing to you. You you grown just that. You ain't a real friend. No, nah. because a real friend will pull you to the side. You ain't gonna bust you out in front of everybody. But a real friend will, will text you, or call you, and be like, "You good? Cause uh, you 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 looking rough, big fella. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you, know, you tripping tripping out here. Cause I don't yeah. know what's going on at home, but you know if you need something, you need to say something because closed mouths don't get fed. Like, nah, for real. Nah, for real. I've oh. had a couple. I've had a couple times. My friend Cassidy done came in the clutch a couple good times. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes for real, sometimes that's all you need. You straight like you straight need a team. Like you need those people that's gonna. And this is the biggest thing. I feel like it's almost just extinct now. Is accountability. Yeah. You need that accountability. Somebody that's gonna hold you accountable. Someone that's gonna call you out. I mean, my seven year old son calls me out. I'd be like, man, I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'm talking, I'm talking a big game. I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go to the gym at four in the morning. I'm gonna come back. You know, child get dressed. Man, that four o'clock hit. That alarm go off. Hit a little I'm snooze. I'm talking. I even snooze. I cut it off. <laughs> my son will literally. Really catch me in the morning. He was like, Dad, you go to the gym? I'd be like, No. Nah. He was like, Why? It's like, I'm tired. He was like, But you went to bed at like nine. He was like, You had enough sleep. Man, straight be calling me out. But you know what? I, I, I got to practice what I preach because I do the same thing to him. I do that with all my kids. They know that accountability and they know they're, they're surrounded around other kids like them that's like I'm gonna just use sports that's dedicated to the sports that they play they surrounded around people you know those other kids who want to be great they want to make it to the big leagues mind you only seven years old but they their mind is like I want to make it to the big leagues you know what I'm saying like I want to be on somebody's cereal box yeah you know and it just goes back to the same thing with adults you surround yourself around you know a few a few good people then you see them like succeed, succeeding and being, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I was going to say? Uh, well, succeeding and just being better than they was last year. You just sit there and be like, damn, I want to be like that. I can be like that. I can do and that. it's intoxicating. It's intoxicating because it's like, Cause you start feeding off of it. You like, oh, I'm about to do this, 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 and this. Cause I know if they can do it, I can do it. You know. Yo. And so you know, it's that's just the biggest thing, people. If you gonna, if nothing else, if you don't take nothing else from this episode, just know you got to be better than you was yesterday. And eventually, you gonna surround yourself with people that's gonna help you go further. You might start off by yourself, but you're you're. It's going to get better. You you're going to have a team, and you're not going to be, you're not going to be by yourself for long. No, you're not. Because no. everybody, because once again, black folks, we hard headed. We we stay trying to do stuff by ourselves. It's like no, nah, you can, you can ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Let somebody help. You know? <laughs> yeah, let somebody let somebody help. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody extend the hand. Don't don't brush them away. Tell them I'm good. Oh no, you're not. Like <laughs> you're really not good. No, but you know. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. You not good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I walked into that hospital with that broken ankle. They looked at me like you don't want no crutches or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm <all> right. <laughs> you might as well take the foot at this point. Since you good. <laughs> Since you good on one leg, you might as well take the you might as well take the point. She don't need it, like, <laughs> like go ahead and take it off. We're gonna put it on display. Like <laughs> this is what happens when you don't need help. Right. <laughs> they be like, you got four weeks of physical therapy. I'm like, oh, I'm just can't even. 
Man, let them people help you. Stop playing. Let them people man, help you. Stop bro. playing. <laughs> we so stubborn, man. <laughs> Stubborn man, just like, but why though? Like, no reason, uh, no reason at all. And everybody don't have an agenda. No. That's another thing. Uh, that's you know, a lot of people don't ask for help because you know people think, oh, they got an agenda. They gonna say that they help me do this, this, that, the other. If you truly, if you're truly with a team that is trying to grind and rise together, they ain't gonna be asking you. They're not going to be asking you for no, oh, remember I did this for you? Because it's going to go unsaid. That's what it is. It's going to go unsaid. We know it's that. Be... Right, right, exactly. Because, and that's another big thing, like, when you're working with people that you've, been, that you've known for a long periods of time, especially if they're part of your team, you need to make sure that y'all got a clear understanding. Everything that happens during the working hours is business, is not personal. That's the biggest thing, cause you know you'll lose a couple friends cause they get their feelings hurt. Cause you like, well, what? Why aren't you sending them to me? And they, they, well, that's not okay. And this, that, and the other. Well, I ain't sending them to you simply because it was a business move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that your business ain't good enough, but this right here can help us later on down the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about the long game. But, like I said, it all starts with you. Yeah. That's what it starts with. Yeah. You got to you, you gotta, you gotta decide that you're worth the time and you're worth the effort of improving. Facts. 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to keep going because we'll be here all day. We keep going like this. We'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Oh, man. Oh, man. But, you know, before we get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit about your business before we get out of here. We ain't going to go leave you like that. Tell us a little bit. <laughs> Tell the people what they want to know about Perry Web Designs. If they want, if y'all want to get a website like mine, thinkerversusspeaker.com, check it out. Click all the tabs. Make sure you're subscribing, all of the things. But, you know, if you want one like mine, tell the people where they need to go and what they need to do. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Go the perrywebdesign.net you can go on there you can schedule um, same thing on thinkofversuspeaker.com you can actually schedule a time where we can sit down we can talk we can go over your vision of what you want your website to look like I'm going to try ain't no try I'm going to bring your vision to life Thanks. so that way when you are done well when I'm done with your website I'm going to ask you probably a thousand times are you sure you want me to do anything else? You know, you want me to add this? I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm taking care of my people. And I did think about this today. Because um, once again, like I said earlier, I'm trying to affect change in my own neighborhood for my kids and the kids pretty much around the world. All the proceeds that I get when I'm building websites, I'm now donating 100% of that to charity. Um, well, not even charity. I'm going to donate that to uh, the different nonprofits that I work with to help uh, help them better and create more resources for uh, younger children. Because, uh, I mean, if, if your kid, if your three-year-old can, or your three- or four-year-old can type in Cocoa Melon on YouTube, then they they pretty smart. Yeah. And so... Um, you know, I want to give kids resources to where, you know, they can uh, actually um, learn how to build websites from scratch. Ooh, that's dope. And so, yeah. And so I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start posting videos actually on my webpage uh, starting September, um, just going over just the different styles and things like that. And pretty much just the basics of uh, what it takes to uh, build websites. That's so. what's up. That's dope. That's yep. super dope. That's super dope. Congratulations to you on that. And like I said, uh, make sure y'all go check them out. Perrywebdesign.net. If you don't want to remember all of that, it's easy. Go to thinkerversuspeaker.com on the sponsors yep. page. Perry Web Design. Just click it. You'll be right on his website. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, 
man this has been dope this has been an amazing episode like thank you first of all thank you for the website oh no problem like i said it was a joy making it it was fun like yep. i said i love what i do so i mean <laughs> it, was, it was fun it was oh my god it was so much fun yeah Oh yeah. man, it was fun working with you. I feel, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, and like you know, like we were saying earlier, you know, we at this point, you know, what I'm saying I'm part of your team and you part of my yeah. team. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I'm, I'm excited for future. I'm, I'm excited for future stuff. No, for real. I, I already got an idea in my head. I've been sitting on for a long time, like that domain. I think I think you might be able to help me out with that. But All right. <laughs> you know, what I'm I saying? got you. Yeah. Now it sounds like we bought on the same page, but you know what I'm saying? I'm finna put together, I'm finna put the Avengers together in a minute. Y'all don't know. <laughs> a symbol. Y'all, y'all might as well call me Tony Stark, okay? Because we finna- <laughs> wait, Tony Stark can't put the who was it Samuel Jackson the one that did it? Yeah, that was Nick. That was Nick. Yeah. I'm Nick. <laughs> Put an eye patch on me, all right? Put an eye patch on me. Uh, <laughs> not the eye patch. You want, you want the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Y'all see me this October. Y'all know what time it is. You already know what it is. Two year anniversary. Yo. You know all right. You know who I am. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 